Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating question from one of our viewers. They want to know the difference between using CPP and GCC-E for pre-processing a C source file. They notice that the outputs from these two commands differ even when applied to the same code. Let's explore this intriguing topic together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's explore the difference between using CPP and GCC with the VE flag for pre-processing C source files. First, we have a command cpp foo.c. This invokes the C preprocessor directly. Now, when we use GCC with the Nagaz -E flag, like GCC mighty foo.c, it also preprocesses the file, but it does so as part of the compilation process. The key difference lies in how macros are expanded. In our example, CPP expands the macro name to mine 3, while GCC mice E expands it to mine 3 without the concatenation operator. So which one should you use? If you want to see the preprocessed source clearly, GCC E is generally preferred because it handles macro expansions more intuitively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The main difference between CPP and GCC-E is that GCC-E does not include the traditional CPP option. If you use the traditional CPP option, the results will be the same as CPP. For more details, you can check the official documentation on traditional mode. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.